Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome back to Hobby Night. This week we're painting up Alpha Legion for the Wool Master, as brought to you by the BenQ Wit Desk Lamp. That's right, we're diving into Horus Heresy and painting up some Alpha Legion because I've actually wanted to paint Alpha Legion for a really long time. A while ago, like, and by a while, I mean almost two to three possibly years now ago, I picked up some Green Stuff World Color Shift paints and have not really used them except for when I first got them to do a little bit of testing. So now is the time, and today we're going to be using some Color Shift paints on some Alpha Legion Mark IV models because I don't want to use the ones from this box yet. I am saving them for my Imperial Fist color scheme because when those new contrast paints come out, gosh darn it, I am using that yellow on some of these boys and I think it's going to look amazing. But today we're going to use some color shift paint and paint some Alpha Legion. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now, when working with the Green Stuff World Color Shift paints, it is highly recommended to use it through an airbrush over a black base coat. But I'm a rebel and I'm not doing either of those things. I'm going to be brushing it on and I'm actually going to be putting down a base coat using Pterodon Turquoise. This is one of the contrast colors that I use very infrequently but every time I do, I re-fall in love with it all over again because I think it's just an absolutely gorgeous color. And I think it works really well for what I see a lot of represented, for what I see as represented in the Alpha Legion armor. Once the base coat is down, and we're putting this over everything, the guns, the trim, the armor, everything. Once it's dried and down, we're going to go ahead and pull out our color shift paint. And for this particular color, I'm using the Storm Surge green color tone. This shifts from a green into a blue, which is exactly what I want because I kind of want that turquoise teal color tone to remain. And we're going to apply this to all of his armor, avoiding the trim or any of the uh, webbing between the armor where his joints are. Once we're done with this color shift paint, and my goodness, does it look wonderful, it's time to move on to the trim. So let's work on that next. This week's episode is brought to you by the BenQ Wit Desk Lamp. If you're anything like me, when you're hobbying, one of the most important things about your setup is your lighting because it helps prevent eye strain and it makes sure that you actually see exactly what you're doing when you're painting or building miniatures. And since they are so tiny, you really want to make sure you've got a well-lit area. And that is why I was really excited when BenQ Wit Desk Lamp and the company that makes it reached out to me offering to send me one of their lamps because I really liked the design of it. It has a long, more narrow, open light source and it actually covers my desk way better than any other lamp that I've worked with. One of the other nice things about it is a pretty good range of swivel. I can move it up and down or left and right as much as I want to and it really hasn't impacted my need for where I need the light to be. But the best thing about it for me has been the fact that it has some color temperature control. When I've been working with other lamps, they've just been the straight white light, which is not bad for when you're painting because you want that to see the truest colors that you're working with so that you're not getting some weird mixes or anything like that. However, when I'm doing photography for my social media, I like to set the mood a little bit more and going from warm or to a cooler light source is really, really helpful when I'm doing my social media posts. So I've been absolutely utilizing this thing when I'm doing my photography and it's been incredibly beneficial. If this sounds like something that might interest you, then I would highly recommend checking out the link that I've left in the video description so you can check out the BenQ Wit desk lamp for yourself and see if it might be something to help improve your hobby. We're moving on to the remainder of the metallics, and for that, we're going to start with Stormhost Silver. I wanted as bright of a silver as I possibly could get without it looking too white, and I think Stormhost is perfect. We're going to apply this to the trim, to the face, making sure to go over top the eye lenses, because I have a plan for those later, as well as any of the other details on the chest and backpack, where I think this color might add some pop and flavor to the model. Once we're done with that, I was looking at him and I'm not super satisfied with how the shoulders have turned out. I want a little bit of a panel line along that inner edge. So I'm going to go back in with Pterodon Turquoise real quick and a very small brush and panel line every shoulder so I get a nice contrast between the color shift tone and that silver trim. Once I'm done with that, we're going to move on to Lead Belcher, which is going to go on their bolters, obviously, as well as a few cables on the model. After that, 
it's time to pull out some black Templar and apply this to the casing of the bolter to help give it a little bit more distinction. And we're also going to put this on the remainder of the cables that I didn't already paint up, as well as their belts. It's that time of the video where I interrupt to tell you about my Patreon and to let you know that we just added a Discord server, which all tiers get access to. So if you're wanting a way to chat with me, share with me your projects, or just tell me what board games you're playing, definitely make sure to check the link below and check out my Patreon. We are down to the final details on these Alpha Legion models, and frankly, I'm super pleased with how they're turning out but I want to apply an overall wash using Nuln Oil as thinned down with a little bit of water just so that I can add a little bit of grit and grime to the effect and also soften the metallics just a smidge, especially that brighter silver color tone. I want it to look a little bit aged and Nuln Oil is perfect for brighter silvers. Once we're done with that, the only thing I have left to do on the Alpha Legion models is dot their eyes with a bit of Blood Angels Red just so that their lenses glow and contrast really nicely against the brighter silver and more deep turquoise colors that we have on the armor. Let's talk about what happened because I have one of my boys here and if you wanna take a look at his base, it's not the best. The paints kind of pulled away. Originally, there was supposed to be some purple undertones there, and then the Mordant Earth was supposed to crack around it and show that through, but that's not what happened. I think I know the mistake I made, which is that I think I did not let my purple color tones actually dry thoroughly enough before actually applying the Mordant Earth, and I think that paint then absorbed those purple paints, lifted them back off of the base, and so now we're just seeing the Wraithbone Primer that I originally put down. So I need to change my plan and make some adjustments. And my adjustments involve, involve putting them in a psychedelic alien world because I have these really cool gamer's grass tufts, these alien ones, as well as these just like bright, vivid pink ones. And I'm going to put these on the base to one, complement the like effect that I've got going here. I've got this really nice, cool toned, vibrant blue green marine. And I think these slightly warmer tones down here that I'm gonna be using for the flowers are gonna complement it really well, stand out, like make him really pop. And also again, just give them that sort of psychedelic alien world vibe, which is what I was originally going for with that purple undertone to begin with. So let's go ahead and put the tufts on and then we'll take a look at the final model. And here they are, or perhaps not because of the green screen or because they're Alpha Legion and they're secretive. Regardless, I love them. And I think they turned out exactly how I wanted them to, despite the fact that the base did have some minor concerns when it first went back into the room after it had dried and went, ooh, that's, that's not what I was expecting. But I think adding the tufts definitely helped. It really salvaged the overall look. And the models themselves turned out exactly as I wanted them to. I think the color shift paint from Green Stuff World worked perfectly. You get this nice subtle shift from green to blue, which is exactly how I've always imagined Alpha Legion looking in my head because of their more secretive, like sneaky nature. And I always see like strong metallics used on really cool designs for Hail Alpha Legion. Hydra. Hail Hydra indeed. Wait. Wait. Stop. Wait. Wait, wait, maybe, maybe different. Maybe we're, hmm. Cut one head off, two shall rise. Yes, that, that is very true. But regardless, I just absolutely loved working with this. Now we will be coming back to the Horus Heresy very, very soon, as soon as those contrast colors do come out, because I want to paint up more Imperial Fists. And frankly, I might also paint up some Sons of Horus. I haven't really decided yet, but that might be in the making in the future. So be keeping an eye on the channel for that. I wanna give a huge thank you to the BenQ Wit desk lamp before I head out for sponsoring today's video. If you are interested in getting a new desk lamp for yourself, make sure to check the link in the video description below to check out the BenQ Wit desk lamp. I have been Angela. Before I head out, I do also want to thank my patrons for making it so content like this can continue to happen. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful hobby night.